Hey, Jojo, nice to meet you. I'm Ariana. And uh, I, love that you're from, I love that you're from Dallas, Texas. I'm from Kansas, from the Midwest. I just moved here. So I love that you're from the Midwest. Nice. That's awesome. And uh, <laughs> I, I read that you have the it factor. So whatever it is, you have it. So that's awesome. Oh, I do? People yeah. are saying, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so let's get to the hardest questions first. Uh, the premiere was the other night. It was awesome. But is it real? Do they tell you what to say in your ear? Do they tell you what to do to spark up drama? Is it real? Uh, that's the most common question I get. And I don't know if anyone's going to believe me, but it is absolutely real. Everything that we say, every tear that is shed, every relationship that you see developing, it is all real. And I think the show does such a good job of letting it be as organic as possible in such a crazy sort of situation. Really? That's so hard to believe. All right. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. And um, there's a lot of talk on social media about Jordan. You gave him the first impression, Rose. Did you talk to him before the show? There's a lot of talk about that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know where these rumors are coming from. It's the craziest thing. Um, I've never spoken to him. I've never had any sort of communication with him, never have seen him um, before that first night. The only thing that I knew about him was that his name had gotten leaked um, about a week before I started. So I knew that he was potentially going to be part of the cast. But no, we had zero interaction. So I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, OK. And how do your brothers yeah. feel about you on the show? I know the whole big drama fiasco last season. How do they feel about this season? Uh, you know, my brothers, my entire family, they're so excited for me. They want me to find love. They want me to enjoy this experience. Um, but at the end of the day, they are my brothers, so they're going to be protective. And, you know, your family's going to worry because I don't get to talk to them. They have kind of no clue what I've been doing. Right, right. So what type of guy are you looking for? What's your dream guy? Oh, my dream, my perfect husband. <laughs> um, I don't really have a physical type. Um, I've dated all different types, so obviously you want to be attracted to them. But for me, it's just someone who can make you laugh, someone that is honest and loyal, and, you know, you want family-oriented, you want um, someone who's smart. Um, but at the end of the day, someone that's going to love you the way that you love them and someone you can trust. Good. I like it. I like it. Okay, this is kind of a juicy question, <laughs> but a lot of viewers ask, what happens in the fantasy suite? Can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much speculation about the fantasy suite. Um, yes, I can. So you got to think about this. We have been doing this. We've been filming. We've been going through this journey for um, a few months when you get to the fantasy suite. And we have cameras in front of us 24-7. That is the only night that we have where you're completely by yourself, where you don't have to worry about a camera in your face. Or, you know, it's, it's the best night I think of the whole time because you get to just be normal right so right. it's it's you know you just get to feel what it would be like to actually be in a relationship with that person yeah yeah speaking of being normal have you kept in touch with any of the girls from the last season are you friends Yes, I, I had such a great group of friends from last season. I loved everyone. Um, you know, I'm best friends with Becca. Um, oh, you I'm are? actually good friends with yes, and I'm actually good friends with Lauren. Um, Ben's Lauren. So her and I have kept in touch. I talked to Amanda. I talked to Emily. Um, these girls are going to be in my life forever because we went through something that I don't think most people kind of understand. So you have that yeah. bond. Yeah. Do you still talk to Ben at all? I don't talk to Ben. I think, you know, Lauren is a friend of mine. I'm trying to, you know, that's a kind of a weird thing. Yeah, you want to yeah. respect their relationship. Um, at the end of the day, I'm so happy for them, and I think they make a perfect couple. And last question, are you in love, and are you engaged to Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I can't tell you who, um, if there is a who, and I can tell you, though, that I am happy. Um, I don't have any regrets, and if I had to do it again, I would do it in a heartbeat. All right. Thank you so much, JoJo. I'm so happy for you. Can't wait to see the rest of the Bachelorette season on KXLY4 News, and thanks for joining me today. It was fun. Thank you so much. Yes.